Welcome back to more Operation Lone Ranger, Global War 1936. Just taking a look here at the turn board, we'll start off with the CCP. Uh, it's worth noting that the uh, Soviet Union does get a, an income increase with one uh, D6 die. So that'll be good for them. All right, so uh, CCP. Really uh, not, not much anything different to do than what we've been doing. We're going to spend two IPP, try to influence a warlord, and that's going to be Sing High again. See if we can actually get lucky and hit something. I think, I mean, this is probably going to be the last time that we're going to be able to do this influence roll because, quite frankly, I think the Japanese are poised to attack on their turn uh, when it when it comes up next. So once that happens, then uh, the warlords there in the blue, uh, the blue sculpts, will, will roll dice and... They'll either align with us or they'll align with the KMT. So, or at least any the warlords that are remaining that the Japanese haven't wiped out on their turn when they attack. So, um, so yeah, that will once that happens, then there's no more no more influence rolls at that point. So, but if the Japan doesn't attack next on their turn coming up, then we'll just keep trying to hit our influence rolls. All right. We need, we spent two IPP, we have two bordering territories, so, um, well, our, we have two, we, we own two territories, so our default roll is a two, and then we subtract however much we spend up to however many bordering territories there are to the warlord that we're trying to influence, so we, um, that brings us up to a four. We need a four because if we hit a four, then we get to subtract two because of the two IPP we spent, and that brings it down to to two. So, all right, need a four or less. Let's see if we get it. Oh my goodness, we got it! Wow, I and mean, we didn't even have to spend the uh, two extra IPP. Okay, so what happens? I'm glad that uh, you all finally get to see this because basically what happens now is I will replace the units there in Singhai with Communist Chinese units. So that's going to be two militia, one cavalry, and one regular infantry. So let's get those units out. Two militia, one infantry, and one cavalry. All right, and let's not forget our wonderful roundel. Take these guys over here. <clears throat> well, it's about time we hit. Jeez. We just have not been having luck with that at all. Now, this territory is not worth anything, unfortunately, but it does get, get us one closer to Sing Kang. And when Japan does attack... Uh, Singhai is not going to be rolled because we already own it. So it's not going to be rolled to go to either us or the KMT. So we eliminate the possibility of it going to the KMT, which is great. Okay. And it also gives us some more units to, uh, to work with. All right. Need to get out my neutrals box and put these warlord sculpts in here okay <clears throat> Alrighty, so now our uh, no combat movements. Um, let's see, are there any non combat movements? I don't think quite yet. Yeah, I think we're going to keep everything where we got them. And now we're going to do our. Uh, recruitment roll, which now is going to be at a three or less. So let's see if we can 
get lucky again. Nope. That's a six. So no luck on our recruitment on our recruitment roll. Okay. Uh, they collect two IPP because only uh, their home, only their starting territory, Shinji C, is actually worth anything. It's worth two, so that's why the CCP get two. Okay. Soviet Union. So they have one. They have one. Um, Technology role. We've already maxed out improved factories. Let's do our income increase first, though, and see what we hit on that. So that's a that's one D6 dice. Nice little USSR die here. Okay, let's see what we what we get. Big number. Oh, it's a six. Nice. Oh, that's desperately needed. All right, so they're at a seven, and they're going to go up to six, which is fantastic. One, two, three, four, five, six. They're up to 13 now. Still two away from being able to conduct research. But uh, we're getting close. The next time we can roll for an income increase is January 1939. And we should, unless if we roll a one, odds are we should be able to start doing full-on research in January of 39. Okay. Uh, what do we want to do for our tech roll? Let's see. Um, we could go ahead and start knocking out these techs for our strategic objective. We need rockets and we need jet fighters. Tempted to do, tempted to do jet fighters. If we get advanced artillery, that gives us the ability to start manufacturing Katusha rockets, which is like an advanced self-propelled artillery unit. So we definitely want to go for that at some point. Let's... Go for jet fighters. The Germans are already at stage two, so we're competing with them. Plus, we need it for our strategic objective uh, to get Soviet technological supremacy. So jet fighters it is. And we need an eight or higher for that. And no luck. Well, you rolled a three. Okay. So for purchases, um, we are going to spend two off the bat to upgrade a CCP militia to a regular infantry. We're just gonna keep that train rolling. <clears throat> okay, and he'll go over here. What other purchases do we wanna make, if any? We might just save our money. We have six IPP to spend. Um. And I do believe we're going to save it. Okay. I guess we could lend lease to the Republicans. Huh. No, money's tight for the Soviets. I mean, yeah, we hit six on our income increase, but we're going to need all that. We're going to need everything we can get. Especially when the Germans invade. Uh, so we collect 13. We're going to save our money. And let's go ahead and upgrade this guy here. This militia in Senshi. That'll give uh, Senshi two militia and two regular infantry. And um, we will call it a turn. Oh, wait. We do have a non-combat move here with this motorized infantry i think we're gonna rail him um yep we're gonna rail him in northern belarusia this infantry in northern belarusia is going to come up to leningrad so we have four infantry in leningrad now And the reason I'm um, positioning my troops here along the border of Eastern Europe 
is in case if the Germans want to sign the Molotov-Ribbentrop Pact, we will be able to attack Poland, or at least Eastern Poland, Lubeski, and Palacia. The Germans get all the rest of Poland. Um, and we can do that at any point, as long as the Molotov-Ribbentrop Pact has been signed. We don't have to wait for the Germans. And then we would also be able to invade Finland, or at least the the Vipuri province. We wouldn't be able to advance anywhere any further until we get to our wartime income, which I believe is 19. So we would have to roll a, a six. We'd have to get another six in January of 39 to get to our wartime income to just have the ability to be able to conquer all of Finland. Um... But the Molotov-Ribbentrop Pact does allow us to be able to at least take over the Vipuri, the Vipuri province. So that's why we got all our forces over here, just in case if the Germans want to strike a deal, which there's no guarantee. They might not. They might just be like, no, screw you. I don't want to sign the Molotov-Ribbentrop Pact and give you a free tech and a free, free extra tech roll and free money. The Germans would get five IPP. Uh, it's right here. The Germans would get five IPP, the Russians would get three, uh, plus they would get an extra uh, technology roll. So they would get two, although it's likely they would get more because they're about to hit their research capabilities, which would then factor in how many heavy factories they have, which is three. So theoretically, they could get, theoretically on turn six, the Soviet Union could get up to five technology rolls, which would be pretty fantastic. Okay, so let's collect some income and end the turn. Um, that's going to be 13 IPP. Uh, let's just get that. And that. And that will give us 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 to spend on our next turn. Okay. That... Oh, man, I forgot to move these ships. I want to move these into... Uh, we'll move them one, two, three, and they will go here into A14. Totally forgot to do that. So we have four fleet subs. We have torpedo boat destroyer, two destroyers, and one light cruiser. Okay. So that is it for the USSR. Next up will be Japan turn four. And until then, take care and see you later.